Okay. Uh, what I'm going to present is what we did in the field of telemedicine in the last few years in Romania at two levels. At this moment, telemedicine is implemented at the pre-hospital level and at hospital to hospital level, inter-hospital level. Uh, in the pre-hospital field, what we started doing in 2003 was an experimental project in one county where we implemented on several first response vehicles which had firefighters which were trained as first responders or paramedics responding to cases to start transmitting real-time monitoring of EKG, pulse oximetry, and so on. So we have real-time EKG monitoring. We can have a 12-lead EKG to put a myocardial infarction diagnosis, pulse oximetry, and blood pressure. And we had a direct line to talk to them to guide them through certain things, like, for example, a resuscitation until a doctor or a nurse arrives or the helicopter or so on, or until they arrive with the patient to the hospital. The need for this, of course, is that the Romanian system, I will be talking more about this tomorrow, about the integrated services we are doing, is that the Romanian system was very much used to having physicians on all vehicles or on most of the vehicles, which is something impossible to keep up doing, except for very critical cases. So the idea is we, uh, we started implementing a system with first responders besides what we have at the ambulance services like nurses, but we started giving the confidence to the first responders that they can call at any time a physician and have someone to advise them based on the data they are transmitting. Uh, this system is being implemented on 800 ambulances in Romania at this moment, and it started functioning already since a while. After the experiment we did in Moorish County in 2003, after the Ministry of Health bought a new fleet of ambulances nearly for Romania, the Type B ambulances, which are the ambulances that can have either a paramedic or a nurse on them, have all the system to transmit the EKG, the pulse oximetry, and all the data to the hospital, and we have eight regional hospitals that would be receiving this from them and discussing with them at the level of emergency departments. The hospital-to-hospital -hospital telemedicine system is a newly implemented system, and this is applied now to one region of eight economical regions in Romania. Uh, also in Moorish County is the center of this and the region surrounding it taking about another six counties where we connected the regional hospital where we have the helicopter base to 40 small and medium hospitals with emergency rooms or emergency departments and we connected the system to their critical cases room which is the resus room as we say in the emergency department. We can there have video, audio, bidirectional, high definition camera at the end site where we can examine together with them the patient which is controlled from the control room. You will see this immediately. 12 lead EKG, pulse oximetry, blood pressure, but as well the transmission of x-rays where it is possible, where we have the digital equipment to do this, or CT scan results or MRI results. So. The first response units that you see now, especially the ambulances, they have this kind of equipment. You can see it on the left side, and this would be the piece of equipment which is portable, and it, can, it has the GPRS card in it, and it can do immediate transmission just by two touches, and it can transmit everything the paramedic is doing to those screens which are at the reception center and of course with direct discussion. At the same time, by implementing the Tetra communication system, it became much easier for us to connect from very far to any vehicle, but by just knowing its ID. So when the car is transmitting, the machine sends the ID of the vehicle on the screen. The physician can go directly via the Tetra system and talk to them as a private talk on the Tetra system. So this system is being very well implemented in Romania at this moment. Uh, this is how, sorry, no, it should go back, just one second, okay, so now, yeah, so this is the construction of the pre-hospital telemedicine system, 
This is the old generation of the same equipment which we were using during the year 2003-2007 and then we introduced the new model of the same machine. Uh, the vehicle would be transmitting via GPRS to an antenna through a VP, using a VPN GPRS system. The people who are coordinating the whole thing for us is the government communication service. It is the special telecommunication service of the government. So the costs are being very low. Even if we are using private uh, mobile phone companies, still the cost is very low. We are paying for each vehicle for all the communications we are doing less than six euros a month per vehicle, which is really compared to the benefit we are getting from it, we consider that the cost is very acceptable. The transmission can go either to an integrated dispatch center, which I will be talking about tomorrow, or to the emergency department itself, which is assigned to receive such data. This is Romania with its eight economical regions, and what we are talking about now is that each of these regions has at least one or two reception centers for the pre-hospital system. The middle region, which you see here, the center region, together with this county from the northwest region, are now the experimental site for the inter-hospital telemedicine system between emergency departments. And this system started being functional on the 14th of August this year after a testing period of about two months before. And the system includes the possibility to connect directly four of the sites. There are at least two places where you can coordinate through them. You can talk to the, to the doctors there. You can see what you are doing. You have a remote controlled camera which can go over the patient and examine the patient. On each side, you can see the monitors where we can get the vital signs of each of the patients on each of the screen. And of course, everything is being recorded and kept for educational purposes, as well as in case we want to revise a case or discuss about a case, we can go in the recording system.